Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is Super One Ball. Introducing first, representing the New World Order from Kyoto, Japan, Tenshan. Now, just proof again that the NWO is international in scope. Tenshan from Japan. What? I don't know. What, what a bizarre look. Look at a bizarre. There you see. Uh, Hey, that man is much too old to be a fan of the NWO. Yeah, he doesn't have much life left. <laughs> I didn't want to go that far. But I will go this far. I'll send it right back to the ring. And our very own David Pinzer. David. His opponent is accompanied to the ring by Sonny Ono from Chiba, Japan. Yuji Nagata. Battle of two of the powers from Japan. Yuji Nagata with Sonny Ono. And Tenzan from the New World Order. Well, I wouldn't buy a used car off Sonny Ono, but at least he's in the fight against the New World Order. That's exactly what he is. And when we come back, we'll sound the bell and imagine its entirety when Worldwide continues after this. Welcome back, and here we go for this next matchup. Fans, before the match gets underway, as you know, three matches have been signed for Spring Stampede, and... Uh, in the weeks to come, leading up, we're going to be giving you more matches right here on the WCW Network. Some of the biggest matches in our sport signed for two weeks from this Sunday in Denver at Spring Stampede and only on pay-per-view. And look at Tenzan and Nagata. Neither man giving an inch here, Larry. Well, you can also see the difference in attitude just by the way they look. I mean, Japan has its tradition just like we, you know, in America do here. I mean, they got guys like Fujinami and Masa Saito and Antonio and Noki and the list goes on. Guys that have to look at Tenzan and say, what a stupid haircut, you know, I mean. But again, that's the attitude of the New World Order. There's a Japanese kid that sold his soul. At least Yuji looks more like tradition. I don't think there's any question about that. And you look, uh, we don't want to really... See? Yeah, you're he, right. Even Sonny knows. Sonny does not. I don't want to really side with a with a low life like Sonny Ono, but oh, over the top. We do want to see his athlete prevail here over Ken John of the NWO. And right now, over the top, belly to belly, it looked good. Like a good move to me. Look at any blow against the New World Order is a direct blow against Hollywood, Hulk Hogan, and of course with Macho Man. That thing is just ready to explode if Macho beats Stink. Can you imagine the power he'll have in the New World Order? Now, the Macho Man has claimed many times that there are more than one me a member of the NWO ready to backstab Hollywood Hogan. That has heightened the uh, paranoia surrounding Hogan, and we have seen that paranoia even develop into some friction between Hogan and Kevin Nash. Two members of the NWO who will be teammates in the band match in two weeks. Again, I don't care how much they come out and lie or how much Bischoff is smiling. There are big troubles in the New World Order. Down hard goes Ken John, and here comes Yuji once again. Back to the point of attack goes Nagata into an arm bar. And the fans here at Universal Studios Florida solidly behind the young man from Japan by the name of Nagata. Well, you can't chant USA in this match, but they're definitely behind Yuji. Yes, they are. And there's Billy Silverman, referee, wanting Nagata to break cleanly. Now, you know the NWO would not break cleanly, so, I mean, the first thought out of the mind here is let him go at it. Over the top, and a fireman's carry slam that time. Here's a one, two, and a two count. I mean, you can't underestimate this guy. Tenzan's good. Most of the Japanese are good. These guys start very, very young, live in dojos like their homes, and train constantly. Actually, if the youth of America had as much motivation, he'd be the number one car manufacturer in the world. Up on top is Tenzan. Whoa, Sonny got one in. He got more than one in. He got a couple. Kick the man in the knee, and that gives Yuji Nagata the Nagata lock. He's got it on. Standing reverse figure four, and Yuji likes to take it prone. Down he goes. Referee checking in, telling him, go ahead, just tap out. Yes, he tapped out. He tapped out. It's over. Well, break 
Jackie, you might as well. How about that, Larry Zabisco? That was a big, big win. Well, I don't know if this makes sense, but the survey says one more for the good guy. There you go. I like the sound of that. Even if it is Sonny Ono. Even if it is Sonny Ono and his man, and there's your your payoff ritual. Hey, that's not yen, brother. You're not kidding. That's 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 well, funny. Don't put it in your mouth. You know where that's been. They don't care. Here's your winner. We're going to have Booker T still to come. Sonny Ono will be back out, but here it is again. See, Tenzan made a nice attack. I mean, this guy's a tough guy, but Yuji hit a beautiful suplex right there. Knocked the wind out of Tenzan. Of course, a little help from Sonny Ono is very welcome in the defeat against Tenzan from the New World Order. Yuji Nagata secures a big win for WCW, as we said. World Television champ Booker T still to come. Sonny Ono back out with O'Hara from Japan. He'll be facing Dave Taylor in our main event. Later on here this week on Worldwide Wrestling, the U.S. Heavyweight Champ Diamond Dallas Page will square off against Saturn. Back with the living legend Larry Zabisco after this.